I told y'all I don't do the Young Turks. I told y'all that Anna Kasparian and Jank, they be out there over on Twitter saying anti-trans stuff, anti-LGBTQ stuff, anti-woke stuff. I, I, I don't do the Young Turks. And now my brother has caught an article exposing Anna Kasparian. They will always let you down. You give them enough of an inch and they will always let you down. Why do I have a picture of Anna Kasparian behind me Tell while us, I'm bro. saying this? Tell us. Oh, gee, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Progressive journalist unleashes on liberal intolerance. 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 Mm. That drove her away from the Democratic Party. That woke me up, Anna Kasparian said, about being lectured by liberals after getting sexually assaulted in 2022. Now, first and foremost, before I begin, no woman deserves to be essayed. Facts. No woman. End of fucking discussion is disgusting. Period. And what happened to Anna Kasparian is fucking disgusting. And I hope that man is sitting underneath a fucking jail. Mm -hmm. But she took that. She took that. And decided to go after wokeism. Mm. What the fuck do they even have to do with each other? Like, what, what do they have to do with each other? Nothing. Young Turks co-host Anna Kasparian explained what drove her to dish the Democratic Party while on Julian Michaels' Keeping It Real podcast on Monday. The progressive media host described feeling politically homeless over the past few years as she started seeing an intolerance to debate and the free exchange of ideas as well as an embrace of soft on crime policies that, left, that mm. the left that she believes were detrimental to society. She ripped efforts to demonize and even dehumanize the other side while admitting that she used to be the person who believed you could not be friends with conservatives or someone who supported former President Donald Trump. Both women said they identify with disaffected Democrats who now feel unwelcome in their former party. Let me start with the obvious. I hope the man that did this to Anna Kasparian is sitting in the deepest jail known to mankind. That man is exactly why a lot of women choose the bear. 100 fucking percent. 100 percent. And once again, it shows how women's body autonomy is not really respected in this country. Mm -hmm. It isn't. Mm -hmm. A lot of men believe like they are, it, they, they should be able to take what they want from a woman and that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Body autonomy is one of the things that I fucking believe in completely. So what happened to Anna Kasparian is a tragedy and I hope the man is, that did this is sitting in prison for the rest of his natural goddamn life. With that being said, Anna, why should we intolerate intolerance? Why should we tolerate intolerance, mm -hmm. Anna? Why? Because obviously your belief system about the left is predicated on this idea of wokeism and don't think I didn't see it. Don't think I didn't see it. I saw it. Mm -hmm. So now that you out there being politically homeless, Anna, what is woke? Take all the time you need. I'll be sitting here waiting. But I digress. Why in the name of everything that is holy should I not demonize these people when they demonize themselves and everybody around them? They're right now, and this is tragic as, as for me to say, because I have conservative Republican friends. There is no difference between conservatism, Republicans, and MAGA. None. They're all one in the fucking same. So why can't, why can't she leave or go further left until these people get their shit straight? Nah, 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 that would be too good. That would be too easy. She has to both sides this shit. She has to both sides this. Really? Really, Anna? Really? And this idea that the Democrats are soft on crime, you do understand that their presidential candidate is a fucking former prosecutor and a former attorney general. If anything, I have a lot of misgivings about that. The fact that she's a former cop. Like, literally, former cop. But I see.
see what's on the other side. I see what's on the other side, Anna. That part that you're not noticing. That that little itty bitty thing that you're not noticing. How incredibly racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, anti-Semitic, Islamophobic, transphobic, and ableist the right is right now. You want us to find common ground with that. My apologies for the audio not matching up with his lips, but they will always let you down. I saw Anna and Jenk for who they truly, truly were several years back. Several years back. I have not followed them for years. And then once you, once you step back from certain people, you really start to see their true colors. Because when I stepped back from watching them on YouTube, I was still following them on Twitter. Okay? And I saw all of the anti-blackness. I saw all of the anti-trans, the anti-LGBTQ. I saw um, ableism. I saw classism. Let me tell you why. Anna feels like she has no political party. Anna wants to be free to spread microaggressions. She wants to be free to be anti-trans and anti-LGBTQ, anti-black. She wants to be free to do all of that and not be called out on it. She did an interview with some guy, I don't know who the guy was, but she did an interview with some guy and she mentioned in that interview that she don't want to be around black people because she always feels like she's going to say something wrong. That's why Anna feels like she doesn't belong to a political party because people in the Democratic Party and some leftists, they will call her out when she steps wrong and she does not want to be called out. That's what Anna Kasparian's problem is and that's on period.